Right, I thought I'd have a go at making some high temperature refractory cement. We're going to make it lightweight and insulating. So what I've got, I've got some exhaust wrap. I think it's made from those basalt fibres and it's rated at 1000 degrees centigrade. So they're probably all right. So I've just cut them up with a sandy knife, basically. And then I've got some vermiculite. I got this from the garden centre. It's a very small grained vermiculite. I mean, they really are very small grains. And I think it's probably the most suitable for what what we're after it makes a stronger mix and i've already experimented quite a bit making these mixes and i found that a three to one mix works out about right so that's three parts uh, of um, the small grain vermiculite and one part of the fondue cement now i know that fondue cement isn't always that easy for everybody to get hold of it seems readily available in the area i live um, and it's used for high temperature fireplaces and construction etc but it's also used in a general building trade because it's a very very fast setting cement <clears throat> anyhow we mix it three to one so and then i've cut some fibers i cut various lengths i cut some at uh, one inch long and i cut another whole series uh, quite a bit smaller but basically we're going to add one pot of the one inch fibers into the mix and uh, it's not easy to mix but anyhow, we also cut some much smaller fibres. These are half inch fibres and they're much, much easier to mix. So I, I've added some water and I've been mixing this. I've been mixing and mixing it for about 10 minutes and it's very difficult to distribute the fibres. But I think I got there in the end. Um, I think this is the small fibre one. They, they mixed in quite easily. The larger fibre one, it wasn't quite so easy. It's very difficult to get them to distribute them evenly. But I did it in the end. I mean, that whole thing is full of those little micro fibres. And what else is um, I decided I'll, I'll try a bit of fiberglass as well. It hasn't got the same temperature rating and it doesn't like um, bare flame, naked flame. It doesn't like being in the flame path, but they're big substantial fibres and they're so easy to mix. It makes a very robust, rustic type of mix. But we'll have to see how it works out. It's a whole idea. Do some experiments and see. So I've got all my samples. I've made a whole variety of samples um, I've used various lengths of fibres. I've got them all marked so I know what's going on. So I've stuck them in the airing cupboard for an hour and now I've stuck them in the, in the air fryer at 100 degrees centigrade then 200 degrees centigrade. And now I'm going to pop inside Vortex um, fire. Now we know this one's pretty flipping hot in here. So we'll stick them in and uh, leave them for a couple of hours. So I've got all the pieces inside um, the top box of the fire we know that operates around about 500 degrees centigrade they've been in there for about an hour cooking away i can't hold this open for long because that is just so hot that is ridiculous but anyhow they're in there we leave it to cool down and see how they fare and tomorrow we'll see um you know if anything's worked if it holds together or not so i've cast i've and dried these four plugs they all got different types of fibre or different lengths of fibre. And we have a go and smash them up, see how well they've worked. It's it's a lot of it's a big ask to make them better than the commercial vermiculite board you can buy. Obviously the benefit is that you can shape these to any shape you like, whereas the board is flat. But uh, anyhow, let's have a go. Okay, so let's get the axe out and see what we can do. I'll just um choose one oh this is this is one that actually has no fibers in at all so it's not too bad i mean it feels quite firm um but it just chops straight in half okay i mean you know you took a fair bit of blowing and it's not the easiest thing to split in half but um okay so i mean you know that's number one no fibers not particularly successful not particularly strong let's try the next one now this will be the one with the short fibers in the short um, um, basalt fibers in uh, yeah it seems sort of you know quite robust but oh no 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 in actual fact that has fallen apart far easier than the one that didn't have any fibers in at all i mean to be absolutely fair i have to keep i know i've mentioned this before they're very difficult to distribute those fibers evenly but still that was not a success and this is the one with the one inch um, basalt fibers in um i'm hoping this one's going to be a bit stronger and it is it, you know at least it, it took several clunks with the axe to break it in half so yeah that, that that is a definitely a better result um you can see the actual fibers in there um yeah so i mean yeah that's not too bad that's the best one so far no doubt about it 
So we'll have a go with our, our last one. Now this last one is the one with the fiberglass fibers in. Uh, I'm expecting this one to probably be the, the toughest one of all. But uh, we'll give it a go. Uh, whack, yep. No, I mean, ooh, no, that's a bit crumbly in actual fact. Well, I don't know. No, no, that is, no, I would say this is the strongest one. Yeah, no doubt. No doubt this is the strongest one. You can see it's got quite long fibers inside it. Okay, so yeah, it's, I, I guess the whole thing's exactly how I expected. Um, the one with the long fiberglass fibers is definitely the most robust one of all. But what we're going to do now, I mean, you can still see it's pretty crumbly. It's not much use really. I mean, I, I, you know, but what we're trying out, I'll show you a couple of pieces now. I've got two pieces of vacuum right here. This one here has been sintered. It's been heated up. It's been used. It's probably been in use for, you know, uh, some period of time at one of the old vortex stoves. And this other piece is a brand new piece. Give it a clunk. Yeah, I mean, what a difference. That is so much stronger than my attempt to make uh, refractory insulating cement. I mean, the, the, I knew it was, of course. I mean, this is just uh, just to make the video, really. But yeah, I mean, look how tough this stuff is. Both of them. The main difference between the one that's been sintered is the weight. Um, it's much, much lighter, this one. But still, it's so tough. I mean, it's incredibly tough. And you know, people say that vermiculite you know, is soft and it's no good. I don't know how they mix it. I don't know what the ingredients are. I've never been able to find out. I just think it's sort of clay and, uh, 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 and vermiculite, but I really don't know.